Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll be speaking about the 14 juz of the Quran, which spans two surahs, which is Surah Al-Hijr and Surah Al-Nahl. Surah Al-Hijr in particular, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the signs and his message to a number of nations. And he mentions the stories of the prophets Lut and Ibrahim alayhi salam and other messengers. And he talks to us about the disobedience of their people and the rejection of the message of those people. And as you know, the stories of the Quran have come to console the hearts of the believers so that they can find examples in history of the Prophet wasallam in what they are living through and going through today. And towards the end of Surah Al-Hijr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a verse which we could say changed the face of history and changed the course of Islam. How so? As we know in the early stages of da'wah, it was very secret. The Prophet wasallam would give da'wah individually. And likewise, the early Sahaba who accepted Islam in the early days would do the same. And they would unite and meet together in the house of Al-Arqam ibn Abi Al-Arqam, which was a home where they would congregate, where the message of Islam would be disseminated, and that where they would pray together. And then this verse was revealed. فَاصْدَعْ بِمَا تُؤْمَرْ وَأَعْرِضْ عَنِ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Proclaim the truth, proclaim what you have been commanded with, and turn away from the polytheists, turn away from the disbelievers. This verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded his messenger to proclaim publicly and openly the message of Islam. To change the da'wah from a da'wah which was secret and private to a da'wah which is now public and open. And this began a new phase in the da'wah and the seal of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But knowing that this will cause a level of anxiety, perhaps even fear in some of those believers' hearts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then follows up with the next verse. Indeed, we are sufficient for you, we are enough for you against those who mock you, those who ridicule your message. Meaning, they will not be able except to utter these words of ridicule or, 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 or mocking, while they will not be able to reach to you, O Muhammad وسلم, because Allah has protected you and has protected his message that he has sent to you. And then he said, those who make or associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will surely see what will come to them. Meaning, oh Muhammad, if they ridicule you, and if they ridicule the believers, and if they mock your message, before that they had, they had transgressed against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they had wronged themselves before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by associating partners with Him. So then mocking you, mocking you or, 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 um, and ridiculing your da'wah, is nothing in comparison to that. So again, he's consoling the believers, saying, as they are attacking you, they have attacked Allah from before. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ But we know that your heart may be weighed down because of what they say. So then he gives his messenger the cure to this. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ He says, and glorify the name of your Lord and be amongst those who are in sujood. Be amongst those who establish the salah. Glorifying your Lord, meaning freeing him from all of these imperfections, freeing him from these allegations and claims made against him that are false by, by Quraysh and by the disbelievers at, at that time. And also make tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spread the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be from amongst those who establish the salah. Then the final verse in Surah Al-Hijr, وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ and worship your Lord until certainty comes to you. So what is this certainty that comes to you? It's, they say either death comes to you, meaning remain upright, remain steadfast until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or remain steadfast until the victory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has promised you comes to you. And then from this we can learn two main lessons. Number one, number one is that we have to proclaim Allah's message. This message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and which has passed, been passed down in the generations until we have received this deen of Islam, this mercy to mankind, we need to proclaim it to everyone. We need to uphold the virtues and the, the principles of Islam and live them day to day. This is us proclaiming this message and calling others to accept the message of Islam. And the second thing is that in the face of the hardships of life, in the face of the difficulties of life, the thing that will assist us most is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ So glorify the name of your Lord and be from amongst those who are in sujood 
أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم من كل ذنب إنه غفور رحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته